Hello, this is Ray Motor from ACG, and welcome to this edition of The Hot Seat. Joining me today is David, who is the CEO from Silver Peak Systems. David, thanks for joining The Hot Seat. Great to be here. And this is your first one, right? Yes, absolutely. Well, in The Hot Seat, we'd like to get started right away. All right. Now, one of the things we notice is we see a lot of activity and a lot of momentum around SD-WAN in the service provider space, which I personally think is a good thing for the industry. Why don't we get started right away with who is Silver Peaks? Um, so Silver Peak, um, you know, I started the company in 2004, mm -hmm. um, focused on building a better WAN. And okay. back when I started, the main challenge people had was moving data over distance right. and dealing with latency. And right. so we ended up being a leader uh, in WAN optimization. Right. As we moved forward, starting from about five years ago, we began to hear from customers the challenges they were facing as their applications moved from right. the data center to the cloud. And they wanted to know how could we apply some of the things we did with web optimization to those cloud apps. Right. And that's actually harder than it sounds, but uh, we began to think about that problem. At the same time, they um, were asking, you know, how can we leverage internet and MPLS at the same time? Right. Can we somehow divert our SaaS applications to the internet link? And surprisingly, it was very complicated for them to do with their um, Cisco infrastructure. Right. And so we realized there was an opportunity there, and we uh, began to develop features and functionality uh, to mm -hmm. address that move of applications to the cloud. Mm -hmm. And as a result, um, 18 months ago, we launched our Edge Connect product, mm -hmm. which is focused on what has come to be called SD WAN. You know, right, when right. we when we started out here, there was no SD WAN <laughs> tag, right, right. Um, but. Uh, Along the way there, I think it was Open Network User Group, came up with you know, the top 10 requirements for an SD-WAN. And when okay. we looked at those, we realized we did them all and yeah, that we were part of this movement. Yeah, now, as you know, ACG primarily focuses on the service provider space. What would you say, are you able to disclose what your go-to-market approach is to that particular market in the SP space? Sure. So as a company, our um, Historically, our primary go-to-market has been via the enterprise channel. So right. we sell to enterprises and let them build their own WAN. Right. Do it yourself if you um, right. like to think of it that way. But one of the things that one of the interesting things that we found in the last uh, couple of years is a lot of carriers coming to us looking at ways that they can use our technology mm -hmm. to enhance their services. Right. So initially, it was looking at how to use our WAN-UP technology as a VNF. Right. But more recently... It's been all about how they can use our SD-WAN technology, mm -hmm. our Edge Connect technology, right. to offer managed services. Okay. And at the same time as we saw that kind of pull from the service provider mm -hmm. side, we also were seeing in our enterprise customers, a number of them saying, hey, Silver Peak, we love this Edge Connect, we've tested it, but mm -hmm. you know what? We want to have someone actually manage this for us soup to nuts. Someone who will acquire all the Across bandwidth, right. who will manage all the trouble tickets with yeah. you know this link being down here or whatever. Yeah. And so we believe that there's a really big demand out there yeah. for SD WAN as a managed service. Yeah. And so the service provider go to market is very very important yeah. to us. We want to enable service providers to meet that demand that we see right. from the enterprise side. Yeah. And I think it's it's good because it gives them an opportunity to re-engage with those managed services customers and even get an upstream new revenue apart. Now, maybe we can go a little bit further. Uh, if you could, there's a lot of confusion about what SD WAN is. If you could help us in your view, how would you define SD WAN? And are you able to talk a little bit about? the SD-1 product you offer today, and if possible, maybe the direction you're going with in the future. Sure, so sd WAN, of course, means different things to different right. people. Right. Um, you know, the first analogy that I think helps explain the SD part, or the software-defined part, mm -hmm. is to look at what's happened with the software-defined data center. Right. The idea there is that you take all your servers, you right. add a hypervisor layer, you add an orchestration layer, right. and now you can run any yeah. app on any server. Right. You've got all those resources pulled, and so you've got agility. You mm -hmm. can apply policy to segment the resources, but basically uh, you get a ton of advantages from this virtualization. Right. right. With SD-WAN, instead of virtualizing servers, we're virtualizing mm -hmm. the WAN. The WAN. And so we're letting people run any app over any transport. Right. Okay. So if they want to run their voice, over mm -hmm. a combination of MPLS and internet, or if they want to run their voice over two internet links, mm -hmm. whatever combination of transports they want, we let them do that right. with an SLA. Yeah, and sense. so fundamentally, we think the 
software defined WAN is about running any app over yeah. any combination yeah. of underlying transports. Right. Totally. Now, I know you play in the enterprise space as well. Could you talk about some of the deployments, whether they're uh, enterprise or service provider? Uh, sure. So we have uh, more than 300 live paying deployed customers. Okay. Um, the majority of those we've run through our enterprise channel because that's where right. we started. But uh, we um, have a number of service provider partnerships where uh, we're beginning to roll out and deploy customers as well. Right. Right. Um, you know, it's, if you go to our website, yeah. one of the things that I think um, distinguishes us from a lot of our competitors, right. we have a lot of customer testimonials, a lot of okay. cases where customers have been willing to be public mm -hmm. about buying Silver Peak and yeah. describing the advantages they get, whether it's cost savings or yeah. simplifying um, the administration of the network. Um, or whether it's giving consistent performance to the employees no matter what app yeah. they're using, where it is. Yeah. Um, we've got customers that are willing to testify to all of that. That's great. So just to clarify, that was 300 customers? Yeah, actually so more you, than 300. So is the product real? Yep. It's shipping. It's and, absolutely shipping. And you have real customers? Yes. Well, good. Well, you're officially off the hot seat, David. Great. With David, this is Ray Moda. Thanks for joining this edition of the Hot Seat. Thank you.